Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back. If you are new here, hi, I'm Rhoda. So glad you're all here. So I've been playing around with some of the makeup that I've picked up recently and yesterday I put together the most gorgeous look. So I thought I'd hop on here and show you how I've been using these products and recreate that look that I got a ton of compliments on. I'm gonna start off with the Benefit Professional and where I add this is pretty much in the center of my face, my T-zone, where I have visible pores and they seem to be multiplying daily. And it does a super, super amazing job of blurring. I've been putting it on my chin too. A little bit more on my forehead. And for the rest of my face, I'm going to go in with the Tom Ford Soft Matte Primer two or three pumps, I rub it in, and then I can get a pretty even distribution all over my face. I've been using this primer with the foundation that I will be using to put this look together, which is the Charlotte Tilbury New Foundation Stick. And I have found that using this primer with that foundation stick is a amazing amazing combo and I'll get into why that is when I apply the foundation I did try the Scott Barnes aquaphor little trick and you know what I I think it actually works it does do a really good job of keeping your concealer in place and it did do a really good job of preventing creasing and um, I don't use it every day but I did use it yesterday. So I wanna do exactly what I did yesterday so I can show you just a very light layer and I spread it out so that it's not bunched up in any one spot. I'm gonna color correct now with the Jones Road, the neutralizer pencil in light peach. And I like this pencil because I can be very precise with where I place it. And then I don't get a thick, thick layer of color correction. Although typically I would need a lot more heavy duty color correction. I used this yesterday and it did a really, really nice job. So, so when I do review new products for you, I do continue to use them, to test them out, to use them in different ways if it's called for. And that way, when I do my monthly speed reviews, I'm really confident in my opinions. Let's go in with some concealer. I used the House Labs number 21 Light Medium Neutral. Get some right here, right here, and all over my lid. So I'm not gonna be doing a June roundup because I didn't have too, too much new in June, but I am working on a best of 2024 so far. And it has been really hard, I tell you, because I tried so many great, great products this year. It's been fantastic, really. Not a lot of duds. Well, some duds, but the ones that I have loved, it's a lot of them. And I don't want to make it, you know, a three hour long video. I really am having a hard time narrowing everything down. Oh, I didn't mention I am using a BK Beauty N14 brush. I do also want to get some of this concealer in this area right here where I do get some redness, just a little bit down my nose and right here just for a little lifty action. Have you guys been watching Love Island? Oh, Love Island USA, I should say. My goodness, I honestly think this is the best season so far. It is so good. It's my guilty pleasure. I won't spoil anything for you, but if that's your jam, it's really, really good. But I do have to say, watching it makes me feel very, very old and very, very unfit. Like those girls are incredible looking. I'm gonna quickly apply the Charlotte Tilbury Foundation Stick in five medium. Quickly get that on there. And back to Love Island. Ariana Maddox as the new host is killing it. She looks so good, her outfits. Oh, just some quick swipes on the face and that is all. I used my BK Beauty 101 to spread this out yesterday and I really, really liked it. 
it spreads on so, so easily and it doesn't have the most coverage. It doesn't. But once I add my bronzer, my blush, my everything else, it just all works together and you're left with a gorgeous glow. This is not, I don't care what anyone's telling you, it is not the Hollywood Flawless Filter. It is not. It's not. When all is said and done with this foundation, you're left with a lit from within glow that's not too shiny and well that's my experience anyway i know a lot of people aren't loving this there are very very mixed reviews uh, but in my personal experience and i've been using it a lot just to make sure that it wasn't a fluke when i reviewed it for you and it's been really working out and just ease of use and this is more of like an everyday i wouldn't wear this really on a night out just because I would want more coverage, but it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I do put a thin layer on, but I will go over just strategically a second layer in places where I might want a little bit more coverage. I'm kind of avoiding this area though. I didn't do that today, but yesterday I avoided this area. I think I got it on there today, but that's okay. It's not a big deal, or at least it isn't for me. So there, we have our, our coverage, as much coverage as we're gonna get because this isn't very buildable, it is a sheer to light coverage. And also, back to the Tom Ford Soft Matte Primer, in combination with this, because you have more of a mattified base, this goes on very, very nicely. I wouldn't use a glowy primer with this because it would just intensify everything. So using that Tom Ford Soft Matte Primer is a perfect, perfect pairing for this. So can we see? Yes, we do have a glow. Uh, for me, it's not too, too intense personally. I love the way it looks. I love the way it looks. Next, I'm gonna take the Makeup by Mario Bronzing Serum. This is in the shade Light. Sometimes I will mix light and light medium. Sometimes I'll use light medium. Light medium is a little bit warmer and light is a little bit cooler. But this is what I used yesterday, so I'm going to keep it the same. And we'll get some on the forehead as well. BK Beauty 109 to get that all spread out and I have been loving this Mario serum. First of all, it's, it's pretty easy to use. It is serum-y, so it kind of disappears. And you have to be a little bit careful. You don't get it everywhere. If you just kind of stamp it in place, you're good. It's not too, too intense, but I am gonna go over it with a powder bronzer. And that's why I used the light shade versus the light medium shade. If I was only going to use the Mario for bronzing, I would have gone in with a little bit of a deeper shade. Those are all the cream and liquid products that I use. Now I'm gonna go in and powder. I am using the Givenchy Prism Libre in Two Satin Blanc. Have some in my cap here, and I swirl around in the palm of my hand just so that I can diffuse it a little bit. I don't want too much. Start with the under eye. I'm also going to get my lids. How is everybody's week going so far? We are coming up on a long weekend in Canada. It is our July 1st is Canada Day, and I'm really looking forward to a very long weekend. Now I'm gonna take the powder and place it right here where I don't want shine, but I am gonna leave the shine over here because it's gorgeous. And even when you powder on top of this foundation stick, there is still some of that luminosity that comes through, and I love that for that. If glow is your jam, it will not disappoint. Get my chin as well. And I also like to powder a little bit right here because I do experience fading in this area, and of course, right here on the forehead. So the Makeup by Mario serum does dry down, so you can definitely go over top of it with a powder bronzer. Today I'm gonna use the YSL All Hours Bronzer. This is in the shade two. I'm gonna grab my Patrick Ta dual-ended brush and fluffy side, tap in there, and just go over the Mario with this bronzer. And what this does is it also 
takes down that extra glow, that extra shine that the Charlotte Tilbury Foundation stick has, but it still shines through. That glow remains no matter what. Get it on the forehead as well. And I always love to put bronzer on my nose. Now I'm gonna go in with a blush and this is the Kosas Blush is Life in the shade Blist. And my refer number five. And tap that on. It works so well, blends right in. There's blush there, but it's not overpowering because I don't like an overpowering blush. I think I'm the only one on the planet who <laughs> doesn't like too much blush, but I do like a little bit of color on my face, a little bit of flush, just for some youthfulness and some color in the face, you know? And this blush leaves a little bit of a luminosity behind, but not too much of a luminous glow. So it kind of really, really works well with the Charlotte Tilbury foundation stick. And on top of the matte bronzer, it kind of all works together. And we bring that glow back on the cheeks, but in a very, very subtle way. Touch on the nose. I'm gonna work on these brows now and I'm gonna take my Jones Road V Brow Pencil in Brunette. And I quickly use this to just fill in the majority of my brow. I do love this pencil and Brunette is a perfect shade match for me, but I can't be very detailed and precise with it. So I use it for a quick fill in. And then I take my Patrick Ta Major Brow in dark brown. I think it's dark brown or medium brown. I can't, or medium dark brown. I can't remember. I will have it linked in the description box. Everything will be linked uh, with the shades I'm using as well. And I use this just for detail work, just to straighten things out, to get them nice and cleaned up. Then I lock it in place with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel. And a lot comes out, so I always do want to kind of take the excess off of the brush. But other than that, this is perfect. Nice layer on here and just set the brows in place. And for the eyes, I have been playing around with the Natasha Denona Golden Palette and I have been loving it. I am holding this upside down so I can show you the shades that I'm using, but I first went in with this shade right here called Flesh. It's on the bottom row. Always make sure to tap the excess off before going in, but I use this shade in a refer number 16 fluffy brush to use as a transition shade. Loving this shade as my first step to any look really that I've done um, off camera with this new palette. Goes on very easily, not a lot of blending necessary. Then I took my refer number 14 and really went into all three of these mid-tone browns and it really, really worked out. I started with this one right here. It's called Aria and use this much smaller blending brush to deepen the crease. Then I used the same brush and went into Teak just a little bit, just for just a little bit more of a deepening of the outer corner. And this one I kind of flicked out a little bit just to create a little bit of a lift. And I also wanted to add my favorite favorite is Sandstone. So I added a touch of that as well. And I placed it right here. And the reason I love this shade, it has this, um, it has this undertone to it that's unique to me and it's almost yellowish, golden, right? And I just place it right here. I don't go all over, just a little bit, but I make sure it's all blended together and they do all blend into each other very, very nicely. 
Now you don't have to add so many of these. You could just use one transition, one to deepen, and you're good. Then I grabbed this shade right here called Nubia, just with my pinky, and placed it right on this part of my lid for a gorgeous sparkle. I don't know if you can see this shade as I see it. On camera, it doesn't seem to look as um, sparkly as it does in my mirror, but it is very pretty in a subtle way. Even though you have sparkle on your eye, it's not crazy. It is very, very pretty though. 219 MAC brush into Aura. Placed this in the inner corner. Although it doesn't show up on me that well, there is something still there. Although you can't necessarily see it on camera. It's, it's there. It's there, but it's not there. I'm going to use the same brush and go into Maliko here and go over that just to brighten up a little bit more in this corner right here. Back into Aria with a BK Beauty N12 and I'm going to run this on my lower lash line. And I just brought it back to bring these together. Just got you a little bit closer so you can hopefully see the shadow on the eyes and how beautiful that sparkle is but not too, too much. I think it's so pretty. I went like this to the mall. Oh, I almost forgot. I did use this Melt uh, Slick Liner in Olive in the Waterline. It's this very unique shade. It's almost yellowy brown, but it really, really works with all the tones in the shadow. It's almost yellow, but it's not but it doesn't look weird and it doesn't make me look sick. I just think it adds that extra something, something to this look. Yesterday, I didn't add any liner. I usually do, but yesterday I decided not to. I added that little pop of color, if you want to call it that, uh, in the waterline. And I just added mascara and I used the MAC Stack, the uh, primer, and their new brown shade called Chestnut. Get the primer on. I always need primer for my lashes because they've gotten extremely thin over the years. Never used to have this problem. And then I go over top of that with this new brown called Chestnut. And I love the shade of this brown. It's not too dark and it's not too light. And this is in the Mac Stack formula, which I actually really, really like a lot. This one's really, really easy to use on the lower lashes as well. Okay, I'm gonna do this side and I'll be right back. Okay, that is two layers of the Mac Stack mascara. You definitely can go in with a third and a fourth layer. This actually does stack upon itself without clumping the lashes. It is quite, quite the mascara. For lips, I pulled out the Dior Addict Lip Maximizer Plumping Lip Gloss. Say that five times fast. In shimmering hazelnut, and that's what I wore yesterday. I did not wear a lip liner with it. I just added this puppy on and off I went. Looking like this at the mall. I have so much lip gloss and so much just lip product in general. I forget. I forget to use the things that I love sometimes. So I'm glad this uh, stood out to me when I was trying to pick my lip color. This is a plumping gloss and Although some of them don't feel that great on the lips. This one's not that bad. It's almost like cooling and it's not anything that I cannot stand. I kind of like it. Okay, and that was the lip I wore yesterday. Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. And that is it guys. This is the final look. I love it. I got so many compliments yesterday. I hope you all enjoy this video. I think it's really important to see all these products in action more than one time. 
So I will try to do that as much as possible. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please do consider subscribing to my channel. If you have not already, that would be amazing. And I'm going to go ahead and catch you in my next one. Bye.